Alright, if you watched the last video, you remember me saying uh, it was kind of stupid how they crammed all of the important wiring um, down underneath the hard drive. Um, well, my suspicions were correct. I closed it up and tried to turn it on, and no boot at all. Um, I was worried maybe some of the pins in the processor got bent. I checked that. It's fine. Um, I go to check all the wiring, make sure it's all in place. It's it's all it was all plugged in fine. Um, <clears throat> but when I tried to boot, it wasn't even reading the hard drive at all. It didn't. It thought it didn't have a hard drive in it. So I check the cable, and just as I suspected, uh, the hardware inside smashed through this cable. A metal piece of it smashed through and and uh, broke some of these wires in here and you, now you understand why I was saying that is like the stupidest place to put all of those wires was to cram it underneath all that hardware <clears throat> so I uh, I went ahead and just popped in another one of these I kind of rearranged the wires a little bit I tried to put them around the hard drive um, instead of going like all underneath it and getting smashed <clears throat> there was a little metal prong sticking up on the bottom that's supposed to like hold something down but there was nothing there so the wires were just getting squished against it and it cut one of them so anyways I avoided that and closed it back up uh, with the new wire ribbon thing and it works just fine and check this out it's actually a pretty nice computer um, <clears throat> I'm actually really surprised at um, how uh, how fast this thing is for being six or seven years old. Um, it's got a 2.6 gigahertz, and that's okay, it's just saying I changed my RAM. Resume. Um, yeah, I put in, a, I put in a, a, some more RAM, it's up to a gig now. Not a lot, but you know, for an old system, that's plenty. Um, 2.6 gigahertz Pentium 4 hyper thread, so it's better than a regular Pentium 4, uh, about 30% faster, 30 to 50% faster, and you can actually notice the difference. Um, it's a really peppy, actually. I'm, I was, like I said, I was surprised. Um, it starts up in about a minute or so, maybe a minute and a half. Um, <clears throat> I just put on, uh, you know, all the basic essentials: Adobe uh, Flash Player, um, Reader you know, for PDFs and stuff, and, uh, I installed a wireless, um, a, uh, a Wi-Fi card, so it's online, um, I, I gave it, um, Firefox, because I like Firefox, um, but it also has Internet Explorer, uh, it's got Windows Media Player, um, so, yeah, it's actually, uh, it's worked out, worked out to be a, a pretty nice system here, um, <clears throat> Let me just show you uh, how fast it is. You see, everything just everything loads up immediately. There's virtually no waiting time, which is really nice. Oh, and I found out the hard drive is 74.5 gigs, and it just has a little bit taken up by the operating system and basic programs and stuff. So yeah, it's um, it's really good. It's just uh, the kind of poorly designed with the way they crammed all the wiring underneath the hardware like that I would have made the wiring a little bit longer and kind of rearranged it a little um, but I guess they wanted to save time and money or something but other than that one little flaw this is a really good system it's really fast um, and reliable I, I guess because this thing is like six or seven years old and it's fine there's nothing wrong with it it looks really good it's not too huge. It's heavy though. But yeah, um, that's the IBM Lenovo Think Center. And I hope you enjoyed. Next video is going to be one of these two tanks down here. These are Dell Dimension 2400s. Um, a lot more common. There was a shit ton of those made back in 2003, 2004. Um, but also really reliable systems. Uh, we'll talk more about those later. Hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.